Okay, this is uh, the pose that uh, I'm looking at right now uh, as to something that I might do. Um, I don't think I'd do the full headdress uh, only because uh, it would cost a fortune to do and just doing a, a war bonnet would be a lot better uh, cost-wise. Still won't be cheap because anytime you put feathers on something it adds cost. Uh, I like the pose. I'm not uh, sure I want to do that though. Uh, there's some other ones that uh, I could put the same stuff that he's wearing there on uh, into different poses. These are shots that I took at uh, the Little Bighorn. That's what the uh, river is behind him. These are Crow Indians that are posing. This is the same gentleman that was in the uh, war bonnet. Um, and this is the uh, Little Bighorn behind him. Uh, we were shooting this on the 100th anniversary of the Custer's Last Stand in uh, in Crow Agency or on the uh, Battle of Field of the Little Bighorn. This is r right close to uh, Medicine Tail Coulee, which was just down the river, just a, a little ways, and where Custer was killed and his body and uh, all his men were found were up on a hill in the back and to the left, or to the right of uh, where he's standing right there. I like this pose as well. Uh, you know, I like the uh, the resting weapon uh, on his uh, leg and his holding the uh, scabbard. Uh, I couldn't put a scabbard on his bow scabbard on his uh, back if I was doing a war bonnet with the uh, train of feathers going down the back and just be too uh, much in the way. I like the walking pose and I like this where he's adjusting his legging uh, strap. Uh, it ties to his belt right there and you know, as you can see it just wraps, his leg is bare there. He's, in fact he's wearing underwear um, only out of his own modesty. Uh, but in back then they wouldn't have worn anything. They would have just worn the uh, loincloth and the leggings. This is him again uh, with the uh, scabbard on his back. I like that. With the uh, bonnet on his head it would look really nice. Um, this is Michael Terry, the guy that supplied the clothing for that model shoot and uh, who we paid to hire the models. Um, this was back in 91, uh, 1991. Uh, you'll see here he's dressed in a, in a, sh a leather shirt uh, with all kinds of holes punched into it and that was a Bear Clan shirt. Uh, this is a, a, a Bear Claw, Grizzly Bear Claw necklace. I like the uh, pose with the uh, bow and he's pulling an arrow out of his hand here. He's got three or four arrows in his hand and with, along with the bow. I like that idea but uh, I also, if you notice here, there's that rifle that I've put in several of my pieces in the past. This is an authentic uh, Indian rifle that he has in his collection. I like that pose. Uh, I wouldn't put the uh, bear claw necklace on and I wouldn't put the uh, shirt on either. I really like this pose uh, because you know if I put a war bonnet on his head it would make a nice uh, nice movement here uh, above his head um, I'm leaning towards that pose right there I'll show you the collection of photographs that I picked out as being the best for possible ideas this is uh, not net one of the poses. I, I primarily have this picture here. Again, all these pictures were taken on the Little Bighorn in 2006 on June 26th. Um, I, I have these pictures here only for their, the uh, scabbard on their backs, the, the uh, bow scabbard. And there's uh, you barely see <coughs> you barely see it, but. Uh, this horse back here, this paint, yeah, has been in a lot of movies. Uh, Michael Terry supplies uh, clothing because his clothing is accurate and, and authentic. But his horse has been used in many movies. Uh, there was a movie on uh, on a miniseries called *Son of the Morning Star*, and that and in that movie, Crazy Horse rode that that horse in the movie. The horse is getting close to the end of its days, so, though. It's a beautiful horse and. Such a good pony. Oh my god, that horse is dynamite. So let's go through the pictures here. Um, as you can see, I like this 
I like this scabbard here on his back, the scabbard design. Both are basically the same design, uh, probably the same tribes. Uh, they have pink beads on them, which indicates they're either Blackfeet or, or uh, Crow. They, those tribes uh, favored pink beads. I like the running poses. Um, it's hard to do running poses though because everything's flying and so it costs more money. This is uh, the gentleman on, on a turntable that I built just for models. Um, my artist friend uh, Todd Connor here is uh, turning the table. He went in on, on this photo shoot with me because like I said it's very expensive. Anytime you uh, get authentic clothing and, and, and real Indian models uh, in using all kinds of, you, you have a vast uh, array of uh, weapons, authentic weapons and shields and clothing and headdresses. Uh, it's a very expensive process but it's well worth it because you get years of uh, possible work out of it. Uh, this guy uh, is just an incredible uh, look, he has an incredible look. He uh, had come from the oil fields uh, there in Crow Agency uh, where he works uh, to do this model shoot and uh, some of the, uh, the uh, mud was still on his face. <laughs> Great face. I'm not sure if that's a crow headdress or a Sioux headdress. Uh, it you can tell different tribes by the uh, the rake of the feathers. In other words, the way they they lay on the top of the head. Uh, Blackfeet would probably be a little higher up. All right, I think I'm at the end of my poses here. Uh, some walking poses, which I really like. I like this shield on the back of Michael Terry here. Uh, it's got the cloth going around the edge of the shield and has feathers on the uh, cloth. Uh, every time you do something like that, that's very expensive to do. So I may not do something like that. Uh, an artist friend of mine, uh, uh, Rocky Hawkins, was photo shooting our fo doing photos with me that day. This was 1991. Um, and he uh, did a painting of this particular pose, and it's just an amazing paint. You know, I, I love that pose. This is a, a portrait of a, of a Blackfeet Indian, uh, probably around 1820, 1830. All right, that's it. Uh, that I'm going to head to the studio now. I've got my reference materials printed out, and uh, I'm going to head to the studio and start the. Uh, adding clay or get the figure started anyway and so uh, I'll do another video of that